Hello, my name is Teresa Eckholm and welcome to another one of my daily videos. Uh, today, as I'm, uh, I've gotten some, some preparation work for my pour today, um, I'm going to be doing black, gold, and white. We're going to keep it really simple and we're going to see where it's go. But in the meantime, well, this is just kind of drying a little bit and it's doing its thing setting up. So I hope you guys had a fabulous day. I certainly had a pretty amazing day. But I wanted to talk to you about uh, networking. Uh, I don't know if you guys have uh, have been like me, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're in business, but even if you're a professional or you're representing the sales department of um, companies, uh, you probably go to, or even nonprofits, you probably go to a lot of networking events in your town or city. So hello, Sarah. It's so good to see you. And um, what I want to talk to you today about is whether or not those ev those events and all your networking activity um, is actually earning you money. <sighs> well, I don't know if you're like me, but I went for quite a long time. I built up this huge social network, and I made barely any money. Um, I just didn't know how. Uh, great, great relationships, but not the money-making kind. So, um, so back in October of last year, I went to an event called Networking Riches, uh, delivered by Casey Eberhardt out of uh, Los Angeles, California, and I learned so much from that event um, that I now understand uh, what I need to do at networking events and how to earn money as a result of all my efforts. And um, there are a lot of networking uh, events here, a lot of networking groups, whether it's eWomen Network or BNI or Brain or PepNet or all the chambers of commerce or, I mean, there's there's a lot of them. I probably couldn't even keep up with them all. There's uh, Visionary Women's Alliance, there's meetup groups. There's all kinds of amazing ways to meet and interact with people um, and relationships um, I mean, the social relationships are really, really great, but there's another added component. There are some things that you need to know. So um, I, w I wanted to share with you that um, there's going to be another Networking Riches event coming here to Colorado Springs, and uh, it will also be, um, it'll be here, uh, let's see, hang on, August 24 and 25, two full days of a workshop uh, at the Embassy Suites, and um, this, this is truly an amazing, life-changing, business-changing event. So you get to keep doing the things that you're doing, but in a new way and with a new focus and a way of helping others as you are also helping yourself. So I'm, I don't want to, <laughs> actually, I don't want to give away any of the techniques, but there's some really amazing things that maybe you will probably already know, but you hadn't thought to hone. So there's a lot of great things that you're going to pull away from this event. Pardon me, I'm gonna, I'm, I need to go through some of my notes, but there's so many juicy things that are going to be happening. So you'll actually experience a mindset shift. You will have a Facebook photo for you to use how you see fit. You'll know the right places to uh, network and those to avoid. You'll leave with a written plan on building your network, a written avatar of your ideal client, client and the ways to build your network of people, prospects, influencers, and clients, and how to message to your network. Um, and how how to be positioned for maximum profit. This workshop is so amazing. So there's only 15 available, uh, 15, sorry, five, zero. Let me say it properly, five, zero. There's only 50 available spots. And uh, I know some others have been promoting this as well, um, who took the class with me, by the way. Um, so there's, there's not, I don't know how quickly it's gonna fill up, but they always fill up. He's been here several times. Um, the other thing that though, if you for some reason can't be there that day or, or you can't get a seat, um, it will be live streamed. And for those who are attending uh, live or who attend the live stream, the recordings will be available to you. So when you're busy madly taking notes, you'll, you'll have the recordings to look back on and go, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's what happened. So um, anyway, I... I just wanted to share with you this. It was really an amazing event. And um, just uh, reply below or private message me if this is something that interests you, if you'd like to know more about it. Um, and then I'll, I'll certainly um, send you a link to the to the event so you know the exact details and you can be ready for it. Um, if you're interested, if that's not a date, you can come. It will also be 
uh, taking place in Houston on a different weekend, and it will be live streamed from there as well, unless you happen to be in Houston, and then you could just go to the one in Houston. Okay, but I'm, I'm kind of speaking off the, the cuff here. So anyway, uh, let, I just shared that with you. Um, I want to go ahead and do... Um, this little paint thing that I've been working on. I've been so for those of you who's just joining me, I've been doing um, a different uh, kind of a paint pour every day because that's a technique that I'm learning. Uh, I want to learn how to do it kind of on a flat surface because then I want to take what I learned and turn it into more 3D type things. So just so you can see, this was the, you, you can't see them very well, but this was like my first day, and this is my second day, and my third day, which was yesterday. Um, this one is still wet, but I'll go ahead and show you. Oops. Ah, yeah. So let me just show you my third one, uh, and then we'll go ahead and do my... So this one is actually um, four different colors. This one is a uh, blue and a red and a silver and a white. And um, I'm still not quite getting the um, cellular effects of, a, of an actual pour, but that doesn't mean it doesn't look really cool. And, by the way, if you were uh, also on my... Uh, my um, my Facebook fan page or business page, the Tears Effector, I went ahead and took a picture of it and I've already created some products from it. I only displayed one of them, which was a, a pillow. Um, there's just so many fun things that you can do and and I my problem has not ever been being creative. My problem has been reining it in into something useful. So anyway. <laughs> That being said, let's uh, let me go ahead and dive in with these, and um, and then uh, I will uh, after I finish this, I'll, I'll pop on and, and show you the link. So uh, this is gold that I so I I, I already pre-painted this this uh, canvas black, and uh, this pour today is going to be um, gold and black and some white, and again, who knows how it'll turn out? But I'm I'm hoping it'll turn out really really fun. So here we go with the gold. So. I hope you guys have had a really, really fabulous day, and uh, that you are um, having, going to have, planning to have an amazing weekend, and um, um, and I hope the network event, you know, events that you are going to and the groups that you belong to um, have been useful for you so far. But there's so much more available to you that you don't even know about yet. So there's the gold, and now I'm going to pour the black on top, and. And that's hopefully that's going to make things move out a little bit. And um, <laughs> I don't know. This is just, um, I'm not leaving it this way, by the way. I'm just, and then the white on top of everything else. Why? I don't know. Just because I can. And, um, ooh, it's starting to um, build these cellular structures. But let me um, go ahead and move it around because I want... Obviously, my goal is to kind of cover the, the canvas. Um, and uh, now we're going to start to make the, the, the messy part, um, which is actually, for me, kind of fun. But that's why I use this tray. Believe it or not, I'm using a tray that uh, auto mechanics use for um, or and people who, do, who change oil themselves. Um, and then I just cover it with a bit of sort of, um, um, you know, the upside down part of wallpaper. Uh, it's great for catching the drips, and um, and let's, I'm going to do one more thing after I've coated my canvas with all of this. So um, the way I like to do art, you just can't mind at all getting messy because I well, that's me. And when I start to make my 3D art um, with my textile hardeners and that kind of thing, that's going to be really interesting. Well, actually. I may not need to do much because, like I said, there's there's action starting to happen. And one of the key things why some of the ones that I've done previously haven't worked all that great is because after you've done the pour, you're not supposed to mess with it. You're supposed to let it be. And uh, hopefully, maybe I'll just let this be and we'll see where it goes. Because um, there's little these little cells are starting to pop up, both in the white and the black. The gold is starting to, I don't know, bubble up through the paint or something. Um, anyway... Um, <laughs> that said, uh, if this turns out to be something beautiful, I'll certainly show it to you tomorrow uh, when I get back on screen tomorrow and I want to share some other very interesting tips that uh, I've learned along the way, both in my art and my business. And uh, thank you so much for being on. Let's see if I can 
I catch everybody here. So, hello Irving, it's so good to see you. And Vicki, wow, I haven't seen you in a while. And Mark, and David, and Al, and... What is it? Oh, yeah, Funnel Hacker, my t-shirt, yes. <laughs> well, <laughs> I definitely did the um, uh, One Funnel Away Challenge a couple of months ago, so that's in the in the back of my um, my skills that I'm starting to put together because um, I'm building uh, my online business uh, in addition to my in-person networking business. By the way, some of those skills are the same no matter what you do. Um, so yes, and, and as a result of that, um, I did get this Funnel Hacker t-shirt, so you know, um, why not? You know, there's um, a lot, maybe not everyone knows, but I came from an engineering background. My first uh, career was 18 years in high tech, where I was a software programmer. And uh, so engineering and science and math, those are still near and dear to my heart. Um, but quite honestly, when I discovered art, just before my 50th birthday, I totally fell in love. I totally fell in love, and this is this is my passion. So anyway, but that said, um, I still love high tech, and I use high tech all the time for the things that I do. So who else is here? Mark! Mark! Oh, it's so good to see you! <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. You and I need to connect. We really need to connect. I've been meaning to give you a buzz and haven't done it yet. So, and then Chris. Chris. Hello, Chris. So, um, so I'm so glad you're all on. If you have any questions or if you have any comments or you just want to know anything more, then please do reply below or private message me. In the meantime, have a fabulous Friday e evening and a wonderful weekend, and I will see you here again tomorrow. It may be around this time. So, bye, everybody.